They say that a man's house is their castle. And every good castle has a pool. Or is it moat? I think it's pool. One of the things to do in New York City, especially if you are afraid of catching an invisible disease, is people watch from the safe confines of your uh, apartment. If you live high enough to see over rooftops, well, that is a whole nother level of people watching. Flashback to the time I tried to exercise with my neighbor. Squats! Can't knock me for just trying to, you know, community engagement. Well, a few weeks ago, I was minding my own business, just enjoying the views of New York City, and I saw something new cropping up on the rooftops. Take a look. What is it? I did some investigating and discovered inflatable pool. Why didn't I think of that? I have a tiny little balcony that allows me some fresh air and freedom, still social distancing from everyone. So I immediately pull out my tape measure and realize I don't have the space for that type of inflatable pool, though it looks really fun. So I mentioned in passing that I should get a kiddie pool for my baby balcony. And then I got a gift in the mail. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a pool. <laughs> ah, this is great. Take a look. All right, let's let's open it. This may be a little too big. <laughs> oh, I got the instructions. What's this? Get away. Some some instructions. I wonder if I could put this on my door. You know, pool safety. Okay. Ah, look at this. This is gonna be really fun. Okay, all right, what do we do next? All right, let's see. This could take a while. I was not anticipating <laughs> being this big. All right, let's find the, find the hole. Ooh. Okay, status update. So apparently the kiddie pool conglomerate is in sort of cahoots with the uh, air pump conglomerate because this kiddie pool requires a professional air pump. I thought maybe I could just blow it up. So I've been in the other room with a hair dryer uh, trying, to, trying to force the air in. Um, it's somewhat of a success so far, not so much for my fingers that have been <laughs> trying to keep these open. Not giving up, I think I'm gonna try a little bit more and then, <laughs> so I don't have the best looking pool, but, um, it should still hold water. <laughs> Nobody told me being a pool owner would be this hard. All right, here's the best I could do without a pump. Well, it fits. That's a good start. All right, now we just need some water. Try to be cute, but it fails. Up, oh, fails again. One more time. Up, oh, total fail. What drinks does this pool club serve? You might be wondering. That's a good question. I'm running a little low on mixers, but earlier today I made coffee, and I added sugar and milk, and I put it in a little baggie, and then put it in the freezer so that it would become this slushy drink. I'm gonna take it out of the freezer now, mix in some vodka, and call it a drink. Looking pretty, pretty slush. Not as good as the professionals, but not so bad either. I think I need some more sweetener. 